Uh, hello guys and welcome back to Tyranny where we're exploring the old walls. So uh, what I did meanwhile was I gave her some strength because I still think strength is good. Some more damage plus we actually gained plus one on Dauntless. Um, so you know one more damage every time she hits seems okay. She just needs a lot more strength against a lot of enemies or if she needs a lot of piercing I guess. But strength either way is good though I think she does still need some vitality. I mean, her health is barely higher than our casters, right? So it's probably something to consider. Uh, I was looking at her uh, her tree meanwhile, and I think I might just want to go for a killing spree because two times basic attacks seems really good. Uh, and I'm thinking like this will be number eight and then know your enemy will be number nine. And after that, we, you know, can go for the next uh, Blade Dancer, just to increase more dual wield damage. I think that's the way I want to do it now, uh, because I'm thinking this is actually relatively useful, um, because we're facing a lot of wisps and, like, strong or weak enemies. So if you kill one, you're more likely to kill two, etc. Uh, you should get a lot of bonus damage, and we can use her, or try to use her as a finisher. And I think that's, uh, you know, ultimately might be pretty good. So let's uh, go explore this site. Let's go into high speed and see what we can find. No doubt, a lot of scourge. <laughs> Let us. I, I still don't know how to, exactly this system works, where one person does something and the others level up that skill. It's partially scared or partially shared, but not all of them. Something like that. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm wondering if also like the spell cooldown, like after several points, it might become worth it. But I'm I'm just not so sure. I think maybe we just want to get like our casters to get more health. And then maybe we want to save a point to go up to 20, because, I mean, 5% spell, spell strength is good, but it's very expensive. <laughs> and again, you know, minus 3%, you know, do this a couple of times, and then you can kind of keep casting more often. But most of the time, we, are, we seem to be okay, so I think maybe some more survivability is good. All right, what was I doing? I think just a lot more lore is what we need right now. Because we don't need any of this, but what we do need is a lot of lore, especially because we, you know. Wasn't there a lore point here as well? I'm just really misremembering. Yeah, okay, well, you need lore and I have not actually, but I said I would. Uh, looked at redoing our skills, so they are exactly the way I left them. I'm not going to push this button yet, because I first want to explore. I actually really like uh, how you see, you know, the li how the line of sight works. I think somehow it looks uh, looks really good. So let's uh, have her charge in. Attack again. I forgot that that was like an instant cost. Well, she's still doing a leaping death, so that's good. Mm. Let's try and get mirror image Sorry. out on time. Pretty sure it's not gonna work. How about you don't do that? See what beast woman see. I want you to actually just stand there. Or verse you also. Uh, Lantry, how about you buff her? Actually, buff verse. Trap disarmed, excellent. So these are weak to fire. So let's uh, light them up. Eh? She's automatically using trample, that is uh, good to see. On it. Again with verse, I think we just want to 
She also disarmed it. Okay, that's not what I thought she would do. I thought she would charge the stronger enemy. But I guess that's actually okay. You got me. So all the fire on the wisp. Kill it quickly. Every single time. So we're a little hurt from that wisp. I guess, um, yeah, we just start blasting with frost, right? And how about you taunt? Right. Enraged taunted. Excellent. Okay, that's nearly dead. That is uh, good to see. How about we just start throwing a fireball on the wisps? Lone tree. I, see, I don't know who he's targeting. Is he targeting himself? I think he's targeting himself. He is. Okay. Well, that's that's fine. I mean, we're clearly going to be fine here. So, uh, how about we focus on that one? I would have uh, liked this uh, scourge to be dead already, but okay. So Verse should have this buff now. Yeah, she does. Killing spree. So now the AI should automatically just keep probably wanting to... do auto attacks with her, right? Because that's all the damage she can now do. I guess we use the uh, ability on us. Guess her health drops more. Kind of feels like, yeah, this is one of the rooms with the torch key and there's another one here. Let's uh, just quick save. They won't see me coming. And another floor up. Uh. How about uh, I instead go kill this scourge right here, just so that is cleared. Nice trap on that as well. <laughs> Uh, okay, first you, as usual, shoot your bow once. <laughs> and we just throw some ice at it. I'm on it. Oh, Lantry, why? Oh, that was actually us. You'd think the AI would be a little better than that, no? I got it. Oh, it was a different trap, actually. So it keeps going every single time, huh? You can keep triggering. I thought a trap would be, you know, you trigger it once and it's done. Seemingly not. Periapt of Secrets. And another scroll, which is cool. So, plus 10 trap detection. Small token is granted to seekers of obscure or forgotten wisdom. Okay. Um, I'll take the gem. We'll take that. I'm not sure who should have this. I don't think it's ultimately that good for anyone because I think we're all pretty perceptive. Magical core, which is used in spells to manipulate a target's emotions. 
Sigil of Emotion. The energies evoked by the Sigil of Emotions both fortify and undermine the mental humors, creating passions in the target ranging from apathy to blinding rage. The Blood Chanters of the Scarlet Chorus are the self-professed masters of the Sigil of Emotions, having developed the technique through the study of Siren. Let's see what we can do with that. Focused Intent and Rage. Okay. Or a Taunt. Also does a bit of damage, but... So we could taunt... Well, I guess it's another taunt ability for them, actually. So that's actually good. We we like that. <laughs> what does Strength do? Increases the damage? Yeah, that's really not, not worth it. Uh, also, just like this is already good for her. Uh, and for, what's the range on this? One meter. Oh, eight to ten. Okay, maybe. I guess making it taunt longer seems good. And 45, so we can still add ten to it. I think this is... I guess make it cyclical. That seems fair. So, a wave of despair. So, you make them fatigued and dazed. I guess it's not bad, but I never end up using things like that. <laughs> Which is maybe, you know, why I don't think it's very good. Maybe it's very good. <laughs> I guess we just keep going with the damage. So, we go up to plus seven from pure strength. So for her, just more damage. Does she currently have a stance, actually? I totally forget. She has no stance. Okay, that's... Uh... So this stance would give her... Yeah, it's so much more damage, but plus make her a beast. But I think we'll just take another 15%. Relentless might actually be really good because she's essentially always not at full health. So I think this is actually super good. And hit precision helps because we want her to hit because she does a lot of damage when she hits. 15 damage when wounded as well. I don't know. Is it better? It might just be better to just go for straight up damage. Because more is more. <laughs> I'm also curious what is uh, upstairs, honestly. But it feels like all the keys are here, so we should probably do that. Not that one. As you command. Can you just get out so I can press the button normally? <laughs> Malice. Okay. So this should uh, get fun. Let's uh, just completely buff her up first. Before she dives in. I didn't quite realize there were steps here. Doesn't quite show. But the icon here is weird, so I guess there, that is what it's indicating. Guess we shoot the Scourge and we focus one down. I think that's what we do. I'm not here to make we 
please just run in. Excellent. So she got the kill? Yeah, she did. So I guess we focus on the other one. Uh, how about we also put the erase the record on her because she is losing a lot of health. How about we also just heal her? Uh, didn't we have glowing barrier? How about we put that on her? Will do. So this one actually is weak to lightning, strong. Okay, so we can totally use fireball at least against that one. I'm going to use our healing. I guess it was not strictly necessary. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't die that fast. I guess we have uh, a lot of damage output. Who died here? Who are you? Poison recipe. Research. This partial recipe describes the process for creating poison, but more research is needed to fill in the recipe's gaps. The research can be made to inspire the library. Okay. Library is the one we have. Ancient Archon robes. So, less armor. But it's faster. It's omnipotent, plus 10 to magic skills. Okay, that's worth it. <laughs> uh, let's quick save, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be a, some sort of trap. Or not. We look very weird. <laughs> Guess let's uh, study the rune. A sigil is stunning. Okay, we're getting a lot of new uh, material force. Alter the target's weapon. I don't even recall this. <laughs> Duration, chain. Which one would that be under? Something like this might actually be very useful. Crowd control. Okay, uh, let's see. How about I, in fact, make... Yeah, concussive bolt. Instead, I make a tidal burst. Is it really good? It makes them daze and it pushes them away. I mean, if you get surrounded by enemies, at least you can knock them away briefly. And make them bleed. And I guess it interrupts. Maybe not an interrupt and instead... Not sure we need recovery because we shouldn't be using this a lot. Does it change the cone? No, it doesn't. Well, I mean, this way it would be good for him. 
instead of glowing barrier. So for us, probably I guess this is still the best we can do. I guess. Okay, well, we have a new option, so that's good. I don't think any of the other combinations here did anything. I'm not sure why they even give you the option, because it doesn't seem like there's anything to gain by trying, other than wasting a couple of seconds only. Okay, that looks uh, familiar. <laughs> okay, so Lantry, how about you do this? You buff her, then we buff her, and then she charges in. Mm, shoot fire, well not at the Scourge. How about the Wisp? And then you also... I guess we need to position you closer. I guess Flash Fire in that way is actually pretty good. Or in the Cone ability is pretty good, I should say. So let's uh, kill the wisp first. Will do. Reverse takes on the other. Okay, so that's one dead. Then let's focus down the scourge. But first, we really need to heal her. Did that heal not connect, or did she just take... Okay, well at least the healing happened. Okay, versus uh, getting in some, uh, some bonus damage. So it is weak to lightning. Okay, well how about we use Gravedigger? These icons are way too similar for me. <laughs> you got me. So she's got two times two, and so does she. So maybe you should just auto attack in that case. And use lightning. I'm Montre, how would you step back a little? Yeah, it's very dead. How about... I don't like their death abilities. <laughs> just secretly just do a lot of damage. So, there's still gonna be enemies in there. Because we only... I thought there was one here and one here. Guess we only triggered two. Yep. Uh, you trample, you fire on the wisp. We also just burn it. And Lantry, you just buff her while you can. As much as I do. <sighs> All right. 
right. At once. Pretty fast. Oh, that's a secret, but... So... That opens that door. Excellent. Pretty straightforward. Found something. Oh, come on. Cold keystone. Fist sized stone, unusually cold to the touch, bears an ancient sigil of unknown meaning. Stones like this are not uncommon. Often fits keystones into larger structures. Well, that's what we need. What stone? This is just all food. Okay. Excellent. So that means that we've essentially done everything here. So did I need to press this to open this door again? Yeah. You would just wait a second. There's a faster route. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking I go up first because I don't think I have everything yet clearly, so. Let's, uh, let's see what we can find on this floor. That's going to be a trap. I mean, you can just recognize it, right? See that? Please don't trigger it this time. That'd be lovely. Thank you. And you also have her. And we have our game plan. Alright, so let's um, focus that one down, I suppose. I hope he's targeting the same one. He is. Actually, if you just... It's good that the uh, verse AI does taunt enemies. Though it seems to taunt the wrong one sometimes. But <laughs> It's trying, it's trying. Gonna assume that these two can finish that one off. Yes. How about I use my push? Uh, Laundry, how about you heal her? And both of our melee have melee times two. Which is pretty excellent. I guess they uh, can't be pushed. Is there ephemeral? Excellent. Three scourge, no problem. So all we have is one button. So this will extend the bridge, I'm assuming, and then there's going to be another counter like before. Also, I'm the way this map is laid out, I'm thinking this is one way up and here is going to be another way down on the other side. So it's super linear. Maybe I'm wrong. Distant howls echo within this pit, which descends into darkness. Now, if the bridge collapses, I'll have time to yell, told you so, when we plummet. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. So this looks suspicious, like something fell here. This is clearly a big trap and another malice. Hey. 
That wasn't so hard. Yeah, maximum number of camping supplies. I feel maybe I just actually need to sigil directed for so many new sigils. Stunned affliction to lightning spells. Forgot that you can just look it up like that. <laughs> yeah, 110. We don't quite have that. <laughs> Uh, or what else? Directed force. Ball lightning. So this one does 18 to 32. This is 27 to 36. Oh, wee, that's uh. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of damage. Then we have to just get pure damage out of it right that's what we use it for okay that's uh that's really cool fulmination also actually 21 if you count this up this is 19 to 30 so uh, pretty good and you add shock, more shock damage taken. It's actually pretty cool. Very long cooldown though. So do I want to add the stun to that or bleeding? I guess stun is always good. I don't think I can add the intensity now. It's 20. Let's uh, try it like that. Less often, but it should really knock someone out. Probably tried it some other spells as well. <laughs> Just exploring the side room first. I guess this will open this room. Okay, so that's six wisps, and I assume yeah, there's another one here, another window or mirror or Whatever they are. Okay, so resume standard battle plan. That's just so, so many enemies. Um, makes me really want to do this. <laughs> yeah, look at that damage. So I can get... Can I just shoot it like this? I can! Okay. Let's see this. That's a cool looking ball effect, I must say. Kind of playing it uh, a little loose here. Thinking, you know, I'll be okay. <laughs> Which I think I will be, so. Right. Just 
makes me think that maybe I should be using my, uh, my special abilities more in camp more, you know. That way they actually get stronger. It's more of just optimization thinking, more than anything else. So this one won't trigger. Not yet, anyway. This one first? No. Tidal caster, oh Paul. Well, only App can use this. Okay, let's uh Will you trigger now? Still no. Only when I do this. Okay, I don't like it when they don't trigger. <laughs> I'll be your shadow. Must be a trap. Quick save. Do pet mates too see what Beast Woman sees? Harbinger's wings, offhand. Increase movement speed in combat. So, it's slower, but minus 10% recovery time is actually fantastic. Uh, especially with these like 1 minute 30 cooldowns, minus 10%. But that's not how it works, right? No, that's just after casting it. But that's still really good, it means you can get more spells off quicker. I think that's worth it. Yeah, Laundry, you also get a new shield. feel like we get so much loot now. Three jars appears to have been meticulously placed on the altar. Inscriptions resemble the torch keys. All iron ingot, alchemy supplies. And beer, torch key. I was thinking we might have to like replace it with something. I wonder if we uh, replace the different torch key here, if then these enemies will trigger? No. Okay. This woman is fast, fast, silent. Best hunter. Yes, yes. What have we here? How about I try and disable it from over here? I can't select it. I can only select it where I can visibly see. Don't walk to the middle. There's no need. <laughs> cool. Very, very good at sneaking. Good mage. <laughs> uh, okay, right. I'll take care. Right. It's time to once not a kid. All right. So use more fire on them. Ball lightning stunned them and did damage to them, so that's pretty good. I guess we'll just uh, use fire like that. Okay, yeah, these uh, these stun abilities and everything is just all so powerful. <laughs> So just some gems. Excellent. Do not like slinking inside caves called old walls. All right.
right, so it's a throwing dagger, which is a lot better than our current axe in every single way, just no armor penetration. Do I want to do that then, I guess? It's like, yeah, do we need armor penetration? I, if anything, this will cause our character to just be more at range. Labyrinth that is the oldest seems to go on forever. Well, it doesn't seem that bad. <laughs> So let's see. Should always quick save after every combat. Very ominous background, ambient noise. Hmm, different area. Okay, then how about we try and go here first? Found something. Excellent. It's going to be another one here. Huh. Hey, okay, leveled up. Excellent. Let's uh, get us some more health. So I just feel better with that. <laughs> All right. When your health becomes critical, nearby allies have their damage. Weakness increased. Apply the lash. Exhort the companion to improve on the battlefield, granting bonus to a lot. It's based on fear, which is not based on loyalty. Yeah, that's more what we're doing. All right, so let's see. We need more lore, by the way. We definitely... Definitely need more lore. Wasn't that somewhere in the back of this tree? Spell slots, yes. Make sure lore? Don't see it. Hmm. Can't be on the range. It has to. It would have to be on the magic. Like multiple, yeah, three percent chance to strike multiple times with magic. That's not worth it because we just do a lot of it. Just cast magic itself. So we don't really have an ability to get more lore that I'm seeing. So this is an active buff we should do. Wondering if that's worth it or if I should actually try and go for more magic. Let's see. Just additional armor on everyone is a good buff to have. And ultimately getting more spell slots does seem like it's going to be very worthwhile. Ask physical protection to the shield as well. So that becomes like a really good defensive boon. To reflect traditional human spells back. It's interesting wording, I must say. <laughs> hmm, not sure which one I should actually go for. This is a passive. So 
So five meter AOE. Maybe that's good. But I mean, this undying is really good. That That's how you last in long battles. So I think we should focus on a leadership tree first. And I honestly, I like passive abilities because they'll just help you and you don't have to be aware of absolutely everything because <laughs> it's a lazy way of, <laughs> of playing, but I, uh, I like it that way. Okay, an interesting room. Let's keep it in mind. Beacon chamber. I'm, I just want to see the other stairs down here. I want to have explored that. die so fast. As you command. Just fine. Just fine. Yep. Pretty fast. So I assume or I'm wondering if this button just would open this. Yeah, that's the alternate way. you could just approach from balls. It doesn't say that this would go downstairs, but it must. Just don't want to trigger the loading scene. <laughs> All right, so beacon chamber. I think we can't do this yet because we need three. Trouble is afoot. Just a scourge, so I think we'll be okay. Let's kill the wisp quickly. Um, just wondering which one to focus. Guess throw fire at the wisp first. So I'll throw the electric ball through these and the dervish or the, the scourge should die. Yep, excellent. Throw frost at the scourge who's weak. Excellent. So I wonder if these triggered because I used the wrong key. I suggest putting the red one in the middle. Pay homage to the chorus. So a hint is what you're saying? No, sorry. And this one we just don't have yet. Yeah, they trigger at that moment. So make three mistakes and you would have gotten all of them. Okay. Um... Let's see, so this weak to lightning. It's, mal it's two malices. So it doesn't really matter which one we focus. One tree, you just move back a little. Tree. How about you move over here so you can hit both with fire? I think 
guess searing palm is still good and useful. Maybe you heal yourself. You heal Verse, she's tanking. Have to just walk there. I should pay more attention to what's damaging laundry because I didn't quite figure that out. Bolt of corruption. is also quite painful for all of us. <laughs> all right, so I guess uh, we just need to go wherever this leads, get the last torch key, activate the beacon, and then go down. Kind of seems like that would be the, uh, the order, right? Yeah, I was thinking this uh, top of the ocean spire. Cool. Dusty stone platform is lifeless, but small markings indicate that its old magic might be reawakened. Copper ring, every glyph I've sketched today. Yeah, by the way. Interesting rune. Pressing charcoal to parchment, capture a blurry image. So we get a little bit more lore, that's excellent. One more and we've got it completed. It's going to be the same marking, right? Will do. What was this pattern again? <laughs> uh, we should still have that marking. I mean, I assume it's the, literally the same symbol, right? No, actually, it seems a bit different. Reset it. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm just looking at this, this angle. That has to be this. Does it? I'm just looking at this, this other line. We're not entirely sure, because that would have to be this. Yes. But it's not quite correct. Because this is kind of the best I can come up with, and it's not it. Okay, so... We're missing one rubbing. It seems like. Maybe it's down on the ground floor? Let's, uh, let's go back to the ground floor. So I'm pretty sure we've been everywhere, right? I'm pretty sure. Are you supposed to kind of just guess? Or is it the same symbol that it was before? No one could be bothered to leave a note as to how one gets across? Such a waste. Well, apparently this is a whole new area, so... Not done quite yet. I got it. Attack up. Again. Was right bit. Next time. Felt 
nothing. I think that one hit bone. These wisps are really just like time sink. That's what they feel like. Huh. Some rubble. Some potions. Again, giving me the idea that maybe you need to... A note? Uh, don't trust Jacomus. He promised me a commission with the disfavored if I found his dumb cloak pin or whatever it is. Lies, all lies. Lure me... To my death is what he did. Ever since I arrived, these things have hunted me. I can hear them in the dark. So that's part of... Uh, sent a civilian to trespass. Yeah, that's not great. But how do we know he's a civilian, I'll I guess? I'll take care of it. Just curious. Does this lead down to the left side? Of the group? Ground floor? Yes. Okay. Good. At least I know that there's not like another loop or another floor or something. <laughs> All right. Damn it. Forgot to sneak. <laughs> Was wondering why it didn't work. <laughs> Uh, how about we just kind of throw a ball that way? Because everything is going to come this way. Yeah, Laundry, you should uh, really stay away from uh, those dervishes. that that way we kill off the scourge quickly excellent Well, that would, that got actually very close. <laughs> Not my uh, proudest moment or battle, but everybody's alive. Probably somewhere in gems. Yes. Chunk of mysterious metal. You're unfamiliar with this metal. A master blacksmith at a Spireforge upgrade. Okay. Now what's up here? The Sapphire Torch Key. Okay. Well, we're still going to explore the rest of this. Ah, seemingly we have to loop around to get into this room and get this... Uh, Another sigil or an accent? Definitely makes me feel like every one of our people just needs more health. I guess uh, we'll just throw that. 
to battle! Get away from the dervish. Or the scourge. I keep saying dervish. That should do it, pretty much. Well, okay, maybe not quite, but... Very soon it's dead. Consider it done. Cautiously. Yeah, I'm sure there's traps here. There must be, right? <laughs> like digging, like escaping. A cloth tunic. Well, I guess it's better than what he has. Finally, he gets an upgrade. <laughs> Cannot dig way back through solid stone. Yep. I'm afraid not. I see. So one person has to stay here. It's uh, the first time they've done something like that, no? I mean, there's just a wisp there, so... You didn't see nothing. You got it. Uh, I guess we'll just burn it. Creeps. Softly in shadow. Strike swiftly to kill. Maybe we should just step out of the way. Just a little. But it's the first time I feel the game has done something like this where you have to separate your party. Learn the rune. Sigil of Timeless Form 2. So an upgrade to it. And I guess this, oh yeah, so this is level 1, 2, and then the third will be both uh, filled in, I guess. So it should get really powerful. Stone of Elucidation. The sphere of dense stone packs the weight of a shield in the palm of your hand. Ancient runes cover the surface, each painted in chalky pigments that glow orange and violet in the dark. Of course. Well, I thought we needed, like, multiple. Because now I feel like we just picked up one. <laughs> but hey, it's a side quest. That's excellent. Everybody together now? How'd you take a look? A lot of a lot of gems. Get that. Alright. Should be quickly able to do this. Come on. You also use fire. No, actually use fire, not misclick. <laughs> the, uh, movement system seems a little just get a little stuck on no where to move to <laughs> guess there's only so much space and again why are we just do we to electricity or lightning I 
Excellent. Can secretly did more damage to Verse than I actually thought it would. As you command. And another heavy keystone. Still weighing down our packs with rocks, are we? <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, find the remaining three. Oh, no. well, that's a lot. Uh, okay, let's just take the same approach. Okay, what if we just move over here so Verse can actually, you know, start to be useful. Why are we just always throwing our knives? <laughs> Certainly our spells are better. Alright. I was thinking. Final rubbing. Newly added imprint fills in the remaining gaps in the scroll. The carved rune. Yeah. I think it might be related. Oh, that's a really small thing. I'd say that's worth a second glance. If if I didn't have this option to like pause when you discover something, I would not have seen that. <laughs> Honestly. Yes. So the bridge back. I guess now we just walk all the way around. Then I guess we move these stairs because we can. We did this. This was just camping supplies. Yep. So I think this one we don't have to. It's just for the stairs, right? This is just a bit of bonus experience. It's literally all of this. <laughs> yep, very quick. So I think this one will only move the stairs, which we don't need. And if you get it wrong, it will trigger, I guess, two scourges. At once. So how about we quickly go in here? Just want to get to this, what did they call it? The beacon hall? Yes, in here. So what happens? Hidden room with traps, clearly. It's just the same pattern everywhere. Stop, stop, look. Yes, yes, we see it. So I guess there's another big room behind here. Because, yeah, you can move there. Consider it done. Interesting. Everybody, stay. All right, you know what? I think this is uh, a decent time to call this. Let's uh, quickly open this though. Ah, got it. So, plans for scorn, legendary javelin. Okay, that might actually be good for us. Let's take that. So a lot of uh, blacksmith upgrade things that we uh, that we found. So I think I call it here. Next time we start by exploring this, we go to the top of the spire. And we go down to, uh, you know, to the main quest. See uh, if we can unlock all of the, uh, the things with the other stones, which we've not found yet. So uh, I think next time should be very fun, very engaging. Very Now we're kind of just exploring around a little. 
and next time we get all the action. So I think next set is going to be a long one. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed that. See you guys next time for an action-packed one. That's my prediction at least. <laughs> see you dudes.